going on guys? It's your voice so there's a video here today. I just want an excuse to use this. This is I just it's like I want to see what it will look like if I vlog. I'm like, ooh, look at this. Um, regardless, today's video is gonna be freaking cool, very obviously, like it's gonna be fun as always. Uh, the whole setup video kind of stuff. If you guys want to submit your setups, please just do so. It's not that hard. You literally just take it and you just put it in the first link, you just find some pictures of it, or just take some pictures, like watch here. Here's mine. Ready? Well, well I can't really do that actually. But here it is. It's very simple. Right? I, I, what if I cleaned it up a little bit and just like, you know, made it look kind of pretty? It's not that hard. Regardless, appreciate you guys very much for watching. As always, the series is fun, fun for me to do, fun for you guys to show off yourselves as well. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this thing. And I would, would, let me know, like, do I vlog, bro? I don't know. All right, homie. So first up is a graphic design that goes by the name of Jordan or JL Designs. Now Jordan himself has a very clean setup. I'm a big fan. Of course, you can probably see immediately is the purple and blue vibes that's going on here. Um, even his monitors have the matching color scheme, which makes everything look very, very clean and very just kind of like just put together very well. Um, overall, I'm a big fan of how much space he kind of has a design. I would say for myself, like I don't have the most like depth space, but I have like a lot of long space. He definitely has a lot more depth space, which is pretty good for your, like your eyes. I definitely probably need to figure out what I got to do for my next setup to be a little bit further away from my monitor, but super clean nonetheless. Now, for his peripherals, he's running the Logitech Pro keyboard with the Logitech G703 mouse. He's also running the SteelSeries QCK Prism cloth, is I think how you say it? I'm pretty, like, note taken, I definitely want something like that for me for the future, for sure. Now, for his headsets, he actually has multiple. He has an Astro A40TR Black. He also has an Astro A40TR X Edition with an actual mix amp, um, as well as a V-Moda Cross Fade M100 over-ear headphones with custom side panels. Plates. There we go. I, I said that in that way because I felt like it needed to be, you know? So for his monitor, he's of course running two. He has an Asus 24 inch as well as an LG 29 inch ultra wide. For his light setup, he's running two Philip Hue bulbs. He also has one Hue candle. Candle? What the? Is that a thing? Uh, a, a Hue light strip. Also for his speakers, is a Logitech Z623. And I believe runs the entire system as a MacBook Pro 2015, 15 inches, uh, 512 gigabytes of storage, i7, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Overall, the setup is super clean, and I'm just gonna say, if you're at least, gonna, if you're gonna go with like a different color now, I just feel like you have to tie it in with the monitors, because I feel like for me, that is what made this look super, super freaking cool and very, very nicely well put. And uh, yeah, just overall, I, I think for what I took from this is I want a mouse pad like that. That's all. All right, homie, so following Jordan's setup, we have an editor known as Ryan, or his actual alias is Divinity. A very, very clean kind of like glass L-shaped desk going on here. Very freaking nice. I want to say immediately is that I'm envious of is the wall kind of placement and props. I wish I was the kind of person to do that. Um, I, I feel like I, I could be, or I am, but the, the the moment I attempt or try, I just I just don't like it anymore. I, I wish th that's what I'm envious of. That's, that's all I got for you right now. Regardless, in his PC, he's on the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X, 3.8 gigahertz, and of course, 12, damn, 12 cores of processor. <laughs> that was my first time reading that. Um, he also has a Corsair H100i RGB Platinum 75 CFM liquid CPU cooler. What am I naming off? MSI Meg X570 Ace ATX AM4 Motherboard. Bro, if I knew any of these names by heart, I would be an intellectual genius. Uh, a Corsair Vengeance RGB program, 64 gigabytes. He also has two uh, terabytes of 970 EVO. Uh, of course, Samsung SSDs, and he also is running an RTX 2080 Ti alongside with a Corsair Crystal Series 680 X RGB ATX mid tower case. Does any of you guys are getting this? I love you for even writing all this down for one. Also, his four his monitors, he's doing the HP 144 Hertz monitor. I definitely need to get one of those. I need to let you guys, like, please let me know in the comments below if you guys do, of course, have a better monitor, like HR, excuse me, Hertz monitor, where it's like 144 or 244. Let me know, is it actually worth it? I'm gonna already give myself a yes, but is it really, really worth it? All in all, it is a very awesome corner to kind of go to, get your designing, editing done, all that great stuff. It's just, it's a very nice kind of spot and corner. I, I'm just, not, I'm not the kind of L-shaped kind of corner desk person, but for me, this kind of gives that vibes that I wouldn't mind it whatsoever. So super nice setup, Ryan. And of course, thank you very much for submitting the specs, all of it, appreciate you. And uh, yeah, thank you. 
All right, guys. So up next is a graphics designer that goes by the name of his actual real name is Math, and I believe that's freaking cool. That's 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 different for me. Um, his alias is actually Riverty, I believe, and uh, overall his setup is super kind of clean. It has this kind of like a condensed feeling where everything is, of course, like just there, but also not in a way where it's kind of cluttered. It's very very well nice kind of two kind of monitor setup mounted. Um, overall, just I just I can't ignore it though. The desk. Okay, is that actually like a curved desk? Like what? And why? And that's my first time I've ever seen something like that. If not, that's dangerous, bro. That's all I'm saying. But I, just, I really need to know if it's an actual thing, because that's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, it's just like one of those things where it's just like, what's the point? But it, it does things, right? It just does it, and I'm a fan of that. Now, for mass PC specs, you're gonna get a GTX 1050 Ti, along with an AMD Ryzen 5 1600 with an MSI B350M gaming pro motherboard with 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of regular storage, and then 240 gigabytes, almost a terabytes, of uh, actual SSD storage. He also says during this summer, he's looking to upgrade to an RTX 2080, along with the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. Now, for his peripherals, he has two Acer KG25 1Q monitors. I don't know what the actual inches are, but I'm gonna guess 25 by just looking at it. He also has a Corsair Strafe RGB MK2 keyboard with a Zowie mouse. He has a T-Bone CS, or excuse me, SC400 microphone with a, the B Hringer something mixer. Don't, I can't, don't even, I'm not even gonna try. AKG headset and uh, his speakers are Edef, Edefer? Edifer? Yep, dude, these are names, bro. Uh, C2XD, and of course he has an Xbox One and a graphics tablet, a Huon, right? Uh, a Q11K, which is, I need to get an actual, like, really good graphics tablet. It's one thing that I have not invested in quite yet, but if there's one thing I would like to know, which, if you guys do have a graphics tablet, it, for me, it has to have a screen, but what, like, a really good one, right? Like, what would you actually suggest and that's not gonna, like, break like my heart when I, you know, spend it, you know what I mean? So uh, regardless, Homie has a very, very nice setup. Like I said, once again, it has like, it's, it's in its own little condensed space, but it's very appreciative how much attention there is to like making it, uh, making it super, uh, super clean. The actual wire managers or cable manager, excuse me, is very, very nicely well put as well. Uh, overall, a very, very clean setup math or Riverty, however you guys want to go about it. Um, super, super clean and appreciate you for submitting. All right, guys, so the next setup is actually by a graphic designer that goes by the name of Sebastian or Seb M Creations. Now, for me, this is actually the first time me seeing a setup that I submitted with the Samsung 49 inch ultra wide monitor. Now, I don't know if you guys know how like big that is, right? Like, it, <laughs> I see this in Best Buy and it doesn't run that cheap at all. It's like $800 or $1,000. It's super, super freaking nice, super like, uh, of course, again, wide and big. It's almost like having two and a half kind of monitors just like on its own without like the seams, like like a trip monitor setup kind of thing. Um, regardless, it's super freaking clean. I definitely want to have one of these with like another monitor on top, uh, like a Romeo Costa vibe. If you guys know what that is, it's basically like a, the first person I, or uh, my last person I showed in my first setup of the best designer series. If you guys want to check that out, his setup was super freaking clean. This gives me like that kind of vibe to it as well. I would love to kind of see you, Sebastian, of course, uh, mount this monitor just because like, it just imagine you're just like you're in a freaking space station. Nonetheless, it's a very super clean setup, of course, with the actual monitor itself. And uh, for his PC specs, he's doing an HP Omen Obelisk. He has an Ensel Core i7-9700F with 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of SSD, an RTX 2060. And now that was for his PC. Now for his actual laptop, he has an MSI G765 Stealth Thin, and that comes with very similar uh, stats being the Ensel Core i7-9700F, 30 gigabytes of RAM, two terabytes of SSD, and an RTX 2060. 80Q. For his keyboard, he has a Razer Chroma Black Widow. For his mouth, he has an Ezio mouse. Uh, and for his mouse pad, he has a Razer FlyFi. And also for his speakers, he has a Razer Nomo, excuse me, Razer Nomo speakers. And for his microphone, he has a Blue Yeti. And overall, super clean setup, Sebastian. I just can't wait for you to mount that monitor right in your wall. You're gonna get so much more space. And when you do, you come back, you submit, and just thank me as I'm gonna thank you for, of course, submitting once again. And let's go on and move on to the last person for today's video. All right, guys, so the last setup for today's video comes from a motion designer known as Aisha, AKA Mooney is her alias. Now, let me just say she included video. And if you guys ever want to include video, please go ahead and do so. Uh, her video, she said, of course, her uh, camera is not that great in low light. However, she still included it. We're gonna we're gonna include it because that is the first time we got actual submissions of video. I big appreciate that, Aisha. Um, overall, setup is super, super clean. You can kind of see uh, it's kind of separated into kind of two different kind of sections, one being the kind of design section and the other being more of the gaming section overall, it's still very clean, very spacious, and it's just a really good look. 
Now, for her peripheral, she has an iPad for sketch and graphic design. She has an Asus 2K monitor, 60 hertz, a Drivo Blademaster keyboard, a Red Dragon mouse, Amazon Alexa, PS4, Turtle Beach headset, Samsung monitor, and her PC is actually pre-built, she says, with an Intel i7 3.6 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, AMD Radeon R6 580 GPU with 256 gigabytes of SSD and two terabytes of hard drive storage. Overall, super clean setup by Aisha, combining both your design setup with your gaming setup. It just looks very, very nice and cohesive. And once again, thank you very much for submitting for both picture and video. I mean, just like this, I wish a lot more people took that initiative. I appreciate it for doing it. And just if you guys out there who want to submit, please go ahead and do so. And that, of course, brings me to the end of the video here today. Appreciate you guys so very much. If you guys want to see any kind of peripherals, hopefully I put them in the description down below. If I don't, remind me, but I should have. I, I, there's no way I forgot, right? Um, but if you guys did, just let me know. Um, also, please comment down anything you guys have been using recently, whether your setups you kind of really, really like and enjoy. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're all looking for upgrades. I cannot wait to upgrade mine to what I kind of want it to be like, but I need to be in a section or a place where I'm like 100% like and go all in. Um, once again, if you guys want to submit, please, it's the first link in the description down below. Do not be alarmed. Don't be crazy about it. Everyone has their own kind of taste and kind of feel. If it's clean, if it's crazy, if it's whatever, just please go ahead and submit it. Don't be alarmed. It's just, we're all just having fun here. Regardless, appreciate you guys so very much once again for watching today's video here today. If you guys liked it, please leave a like on the video. Um, yeah, just, just that's it. Just love you guys. And I'll tell you guys later. Since I hit you out, don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Submit your setups. Clean your desks. Clean your rooms.